So we, we're going to try to get rid of the 8.7. We'll subtract that from both sides. If you subtract it on the right, we're going to be left with 8x. On the left, well, you're going to have to do some work with that. We do have 6.3 minus 8.7. We're going to have to use the addition rule that says different signs will subtract. If you subtract it, you get 2.4. You just need to know if it's going to be positive or negative. What do you think? Negative. Perfect. Yeah, exactly right. And lastly, we'll divide by 8. If we divide by 8, we're going to do that off the side as well. Maybe I'll erase my work here. We'll do the negative 2.4 divided by 8. Hey, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to move any decimal places. I'll just make sure that's up here. Yeah, we have a 0. Then we have a 3. 0 0.3 is our answer. Negative. Yeah, negative. Do you feel okay with what we've done so far? Yes. All right. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can do this down. You're going to have a problem like this one on your test. This is going to be on the test? Yes. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So we're simplifying, then we're getting rid of our smaller variable, get rid of the constant term, and then lastly we're dividing. Remember, if you want to check with your neighbor right now, that's great. We're together if you want to, that's fine. We want to make sure we're all getting it. Help somebody out. I'm going to pause you here for just a second. I'll make sure the first couple steps are correct here. So first thing you hopefully you did on your paper is distribute that. you got to get rid of those parentheses. And I'm hoping that you got 5x minus, and you do 0.36 times 5 off of this side or something. You'll move it two decimal places, you'll get 180, but then you move it two, you get 1.8. Equals negative x plus 2.4. There's nothing we did to that side. Raise your hand you made it that far. Good, that's a great first step. All right. Now, next step. Do we move around numbers or do we move around variables? Variables. Variables, variables come first. Get rid of the 5x or the minus x? Minus x. x. Good, we'll add that. We'll get 6x equals 1, I'm sorry, 6x minus 1.8. You can have the 0 there or not, it really doesn't make a difference. Equals 2.4. Next thing you're looking for is any constant terms around your variable, not the 6, but the 1.8. We're going to have to add that to both sides. 
that means we'll get 6x equals 4.2, if I'm right. Yes. Yep. And then lastly, we get to divide this thing. We'll be home free, almost done. If you divide by 6, do that out to the side. Do the 4.2 divided by 6, you're going to get 0. 0.7. Or if you want to write 0. 0.7, we can add that too. Does it matter if we put a zero at like 0 0.70? You can put 0.70 also, that's fine. Uh, as long as we don't have a decimal place out of, out of place, like a, a 0 0.07, we couldn't have that. Or a 7.0, we couldn't have that. But you can have a zero in front, you could have 0 0.7, you get 0 0.70. Zeros at the end of your decimal place don't really make a difference. How many will feel pretty good with what we talked about so far? Good deal, all right.